How to back up Oracle Database with Cloud Backup Pro First of all, install and run Cloud Backup Pro on the Oracle Database server that needs to be backed up. Then, click this big Backup Sets button to create a backup set for Oracle Database Server Backup. Add a new backup set for Oracle Database Server Backup. Select Oracle Database Server Backup here. Modify the backup set name if needed. As you can see, Cloud Backup Pro will automatically select the Oracle Database Server on this machine as the backup source. Input the password here. OK. Click Next to proceed. Once connected with the Oracle Database Server, you can select the individual databases to back up. Let's just select all of them. OK, next. Here, we need to set up the schedules for automatic backup. A daily schedule has been created by default. Click on it to modify the setting. For example, you can modify the name of this schedule. type of backup and the start time click this option to run retention policy after backup for cleaning up outdated backup data that shouldn't be kept anymore in the backup destinations okay next if one schedule is not enough you can add as many schedules as needed. No upper limit. For example, let's add another weekly schedule. Select weekly here. Let's choose a cave log backup for this schedule. Select which days of week to run this scheduled backup. And finally, set the start time. Again, we would like to run retention policy after backup. OK, next. We have defined two schedules. Let's move on. Now, we need to add backup destinations. Click this Add button to add a new destination. Let's add a local destination first. Select the path of this destination. You can test if this path is ready for use. OK, next. Cloud Backo allows you to add unlimited destinations to a backup set. Let's add Dropbox as another destination. Select Dropbox here. Click the Test button. A web browser window will be opened, requesting you to sign in Dropbox. If you have an existing Dropbox account, sign in here. Otherwise, click here to create a new account. 
Let's sign in with an existing Dropbox account. After signing in, you'll see this message. Simply click Allow to proceed. OK, copy this code. Switch back to CloudBacko software. Paste the code to here. CloudBacko can successfully connect to the Dropbox account. With multiple backup destinations, you can choose sequential or concurrent backup mode. Let's choose concurrent. With the concurrent backup mode, you can set the number of maximum concurrent backups. Let's just choose unlimited here. OK, next. Now we need to set up encryption. We highly recommend users to turn on the encryption if you will back up data to the cloud. For the default encryption type, Cloud Backo will generate a 256-bit AES truly randomized encrypting key for you, so that no easily hackable key, such as ABC123, will be used for encrypting your critical data. You can always modify the default setting by choosing the custom option. So that you can choose your preferred encryption algorithm, method, key length, and encrypting key. OK, next. Enter your domain password for allowing CloudBacker to access your network. Great! Our Oracle database backup set is ready. Scheduled backups will be run automatically, according to your defined schedules. Now, we can fire a backup manually by clicking this button. Let's see what advanced options we have. Let's run a database backup. Let's run a full backup. And we want to backup to all destinations, so leave these options selected. OK. Start the backup now. The progress to all destinations will be shown here. Click the status bar if you want to show the hidden details. Oops. My Dropbox is out of space as it just has 2 GB of space. Therefore, make sure your destination has enough space to be for backup. When backup is finished, you can click this icon to read the detailed backup log. Close this backup window to go back to the software main page. You can also read the backup related report here. In this backup report page, click the row to read the details for that item. Let's see the usage report. In this usage report page, you can have a glance for the storage usage of the selected backup set and destination. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel for more videos of Cloud Backhoe.